You want to see me pick up this 570 pound inflatable and put it in the bed of a pickup truck by myself? First thing you need to do is lay out the inflatable lift. Close off the zipper. Now you want to straighten it out. I kind of just go to all four corners and put it there. I wanted to make sure it was right next to the unit that I wanted to do. Oh, knock the blower down. Stand the blower back up. Go over, I'm gonna roll the unit on there. This is 570 pounds, so it took a little effort to roll. Wanted to see if it's kind of even. It's pretty close to even, tried to straighten it a little bit, then I turn it on. Okay, you're gonna see that, you know, it's never completely even. Air starts to go up on all sides. It wants to roll a little bit, but I put a little weight into it to hold it. Once the unit, uh, once the air starts getting everywhere, there are two little lips that will kind of keep it towards the center. So once to the center, everything is even. Now I can walk away from it. I'm gonna get my truck, back the truck up there, get up, climb into the truck. Now I'm gonna use this rocking technique. It's really not that hard. I rock it once, didn't quite make it. So I rock it a little bit harder, stand it right up, no problem. Lay it into the truck bed. Is this valuable? Look again from the top view, lay it right into the truck bed. All right, now it's celebration time, little jump onto the mat. That thing was actually a lot more solid than I expected, hurt a little bit. Okay, but this can be used as a regular lift as well. Instead of putting it dead center, you just put it towards the front a little bit and you turn it on and it begins to lift it right up. Sometimes it takes a little guidance, that's just a little fingerprint, barely put it on there, but stood it right up. Easy peasy, 570 pounds. Big and bright inflatables. 